And it's all quiet over Omaha right now. Nice color over downtown at the moment. Very few clouds. Partly cloudy at the airport, 74 degrees. That dew point is up there at 68. Quiet over Douglas, Sarpy, Pottawatomie counties right now, but just over the border, that thunder shower getting closer to Gretna, south side of Millard, Springfield within the next hour. I think you guys will see a little bit of rain. These are moving very, very slowly. You see another one about over Syracuse toward northern Gage County, a couple more popping up toward York uh, along the Gage and Jefferson County line off to our south and west. So these should start to wind down by mid morning, but I still think there is a small chance we see some rain showers in Omaha, especially south of Douglas County, but I would still say just be cautious. Take an umbrella just in case if you don't need it. Fantastic. We all love that. Isolated thunder showers winding down as they move toward the river. Clouds still linger by noon. Temperatures if we see a little sun climbing into the mid and upper 80s, otherwise low 80s underneath the clouds. Even more sun going into this afternoon. The clouds will thin out. South breezes pick up. High temperatures, upper 80s and low 90s. Still very warm and humid. We clear out completely this evening. It is going to be a little uncomfortable with those higher dew points. Temperatures still near 80 by 10 tonight. Late tonight, maybe a spotty thunder shower way to our north, but here's the bigger show coming tomorrow. Late in the afternoon into the evening, especially after 4 o'clock in Omaha, that's when the thunderstorms blow through. And some of these could be on the strong side. We're still in that slight risk of severe weather tomorrow afternoon and evening. Damaging winds are possible, and we could see locally 2 to 3 inches of rain. There's a lot of tropical moisture out there. Beyond that, the big cool down. 88 tomorrow before the front, down to 75 on Saturday. Loving that for the Maha Festival. 77 on Sunday, maybe a top 10 day. And then we climb back into the 80s early next week.